and welcome back to Cross Stitch the Globe. I'm Stephanie. I'm Allison. And this is a channel about cross stitch. And we have three types of videos on our channel. Today's video is a regular floss tube episode where we're going to talk about our current works in progress, our finishes. Allison has a really cool previous finish to show that people have asked to see. Mm -hmm. And um, if you are new here, thank you so much for subscribing. If you are, or if you haven't subscribed yet, you can subscribe. If you haven't <laughs> been here before, uh, thank you so much for coming back. And um, let's go ahead and subscribe. We've gotten some new subscribers lately, so we're gonna like do 30 second overviews of our stitching history just for anybody new. Okay. Um, Allison, how'd you get into cross stitch? In 30 seconds, go. In 30 seconds, I wanted to make a present for my husband, which you'll see. Um, so I guess this is my first, it is my first project. Oh, that you finished? Yeah, that I finished. Um, because I, I had cross stitched 30 seconds. I cross stitched a little bit um, before that, but I don't think I'd finished anything because I was just learning. If I did, it was tiny. Yeah. Um, this is my first big full coverage finish. Um, so I finished that and then I started another one and then I did another one and I was a monogamous stitcher, monogamous stitcher forever until about six months ago. And, and that's I my fault. all the things. It's my fault and it's your fault. It's your Y'all fault. Y'all have a part in it. I mean, yeah. I'm looking at you, you know who you are. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so I got into cross stitch because last May I was talking to Allison about we'd gone to like this festival, <laughs> and I and she had turned one of my I'm a travel writer. She had turned one of my travel photos into a cross stitch that she did for our parents um, of my son like on a beach, and it was so cute. And I like AI is kind of causing wreaking havoc in the um, writing space, the travel writing space. Um, so I was kind of like looking and thinking like, oh, what else can I do? And then I was like, oh, I guess I could like do some cross stitch patterns with my photos, like, because I don't really want to sell photography. That's like a hard game. But I was like, I have like all these assets. So Allison was like, yeah, you should probably like also like, you know, like look up how to cross stitch. <laughs> and, I, and it's like, you know, cause I could just chart them. Allison showed me how to do that. But like becoming a cross stitcher and stitching other people's patterns and things has made me so much better as a designer. And like, I'm still like every day I'm getting better as like different, th different decisions on the front end make such huge different like decisions, that, like make the pieces so different on the back end that like, um, so that's why I got into cross stitch. And then last summer when I was doing the research for that, I discovered floss tube and got sucked into floss tube and was like, Oh, I would like to cross stitch, but I would also like to talk about it on the internet with people I don't know. And then I asked Allison if she would do it with me. And, and that's what we're doing. Here we are. <laughs> well, actually, I told her, I was like, I'm going to do one. You should do one, too. And she's like, well, I'll just do, I would do it with you, but I won't do it by myself. So, um, which is good because I'm the techie person and she has all the and old finishes. No <laughs> so it really helps. <laughs> and actually, so win -win. we this is our six month floss tube anniversary. My God, which we're not like it's not like we're not celebrating or anything, but just no, like, it's but funny just to like, think it's that, been six months since we started this. Six months, and we gosh. talked about doing this, and like so, yeah. Forever, so, yeah. Um, all right, so that's a little bit about us. It probably was a little more than thirty seconds. Yeah. But <laughs> you'll find that we talk a lot. We do. Even though our intentions are not to do. People that. do. People who enjoy long videos do tell us they enjoy our long videos. Yeah, and other people don't subscribe to us. So it's okay. <laughs> Um, all right, so uh, the other kind of video that we do, so next week you'll see a floss tube extra. Next week's one is gonna be about making needle miners. Basically what we do is we talk a lot in these already. So any topic where we'd wanna like do something on that topic, we can't add them in here. Like there's no room. <laughs> so we pop those out. And so every other Monday is a floss tube, but then the in-between Mondays are like most expensive patterns, most expensive kits, how to make needle minders, opening the Thomas Kincaid, a uh, cross stitch kit all about fun. Al Forest patterns. Like we just pick a topic and we just have fun with it. Yeah. Um, and then on Thursdays, we've started putting out little mini tutorials on how to cross stitch that are for beginners called Floss Tube University. And those are first and foremost for the, like we're creating them so that people who buy my floss tube or my cross stitch patterns can go there to get any questions answered eventually because it's going to take a long time for them all to Some get Some people are already asking, yeah. you know, like how to start full coverage. Like, um, that's a great question. Yeah. Or that's a great question. So those are coming down on Thursdays and we basically are just filming like four at a time. So the next few topics are already set. But if, and we're trying to do them in a logical order where if somebody had never crossed this before and they sat down and watched them in a row, it would make sense. But if you have any topic, and I've, I've 
broken cross stitch out into like a hundred topics, but there are more than that. And if you have any topics you like really think we should make a video about, um, drop it in the comments. All right. That is uh, kind of shop news, uh, or not shop news. That is kind of, uh, the state of the tube, the tube, tube news. Yeah. <laughs> tube news. <laughs> um, so when we start our floss tube episodes, we like to start by, um, thanking people who mention us in their videos because we love talking about other floss tubers and we love hearing when other floss tubers have enjoyed our videos. And then, um, and then anyone we have shouted out, we like to thank them too, because if we shouted someone out and then they actually came and watched our video and interacted with us, it like means a lot. So, um, a couple of, oh, not a couple, a lot of people. So our most expensive patterns video, we did the sequel came out last week, which was the most expensive cross stitch kits. But the most expensive cross stitch patterns is like a lot more people have seen that than have seen anything else we've done, which mm -hmm. we love because it was yeah. a really fun video. Um, but I, I met a lot of people that, um, a lot more people like mentioned that specific video. So I'll just mention them all together. So people who recommended people on their channel, check out that video. Um, I want to thank you guys, Katie, the novel stitcher who is starting a cross stitch book club. I know. I know and I, I think I'm going to do it, even though I don't really have time to do it. I think I can do it because you have two months to read the books and I think I can get them on audit, audio, uh, uh, on audible yeah. or through Libby. Yeah. But so if you love, um, the part of floss tube, that is book tube. And if you, like reading and stitching, check out Katie the Novel Stitcher. Yeah. Um, I think it's Ross Clark, but it might be Rose Clark. She's British. She um, talked about like a really interesting um, conversation about the most expensive patterns video and like, cause she's like a designer and a floss tuber. So that was really I interesting. Um, I actually forgot to mention it on okay. our last video. So I probably just didn't even send you it to you, but I did, it I did watch it okay. um, and it was really good. Yeah. I just haven't. Um, well, I'll go watch it. Yeah. Um, and I'll link to anybody we mentioned in the video or any pattern or any shop. Our descriptions are Stephanie long. does a very good job. About so you'll find sure all these people. all in there. And then Ellie, Ellie, I always say this funny, Ellie Welly Stitcher, who um, is also British. I think she just moved to Wales. Um, but she was talking about the video. And if you don't watch her, if, I love a British floss suit. Yeah. But if you like... Um, and well, if you like any of the British floss tubes, you should definitely check her out. Um, Savory Sewing. I want to, she mentioned our video, but also, and we'll put, I'll do this now instead of doing it in birthdays. Oh. It's uh, yesterday. We're filming this on the 10th. It'll come out on the 11th, the 9th with her birthday. Okay. One of my starts is for her birthday, Sal. Um, and she also just reached 800 subscribers yes, and it's doing that. like a, uh, uh, like a celebration for 800 subscribers. So congratulations. And if you're not watching Elizabeth, she self, like this is kind of how she describes her own channel. Cause she did a reintro today. And I always miss, I always never get to watch her videos until after we've recorded. So it's so fun that I had time to watch it before we recorded, but, um, you know, she's not into reproduction samplers. She's not into full coverage, but she's like, kind of like, I consider her like the queen of Halloween stitching, like bendy stitchy, witchy stitcher, like modern cross stitch, but also like cozy owls. Her poisonous plants interpretation is That's, great. And actually, is I great. told you I wanted to redo mine on yeah. light fabric and I couldn't remember who it was. And then I was watching, I was like, it was her. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. So her channel is wonderful. Yeah. Um, and then turns and threads. Yeah mention our video and she's doing the fab four fan style with us. So that's fun. And her vid, she's an Australian and um, we were chatting about the deadly aquarium style oh. fabric choices last night. She so I think she'll be doing that too, or I'm pretty sure she already signed up. And then the Carolina stitchers who we love and who, you know, I love a floss tube if I'm still talking to and about them during March and they live in the Carolinas because I went to Kansas. All right. And so, we were, I forgot it was basketball season. <laughs> she's a football girly, which it's you'll see. Um, but the Carolina sisters, uh, Joy recommended people watch the video on their channel. It was so nice. And then she also got her Lady of the Flag out and put some stitches in. Mm -hmm. And because of like being, re not reminded, but just like inspired by the video to like, oh yeah, like I love this piece. Let me, yeah. so that was so cool. And then KBH Stitches, who we love. We love, yes. Um, and if you like a project bag, you should be watching KBH Stitches. Yeah. Um, a new to me, So Lele, or it might be So Lili. I sent it to you, but I don't. I didn't talk to you about it. Um, she is a new to me floss tuber, and she had a good discussion about 
the like prices and what you know really oh i missed that okay um and then fall and it's stephanie from fall and it's mm -hmm. we love and it was funny because i don't remember if i missed the tag or if she didn't actually like at us in the description because i was just watching her and i'm like wait a minute that's she's talking about me stephanie not her stephanie because like her name is stephanie too and um but she was like so if i she kind of talked herself into buying a book <laughs> <laughs> And then Nadine from Nads X Stitch, who's another British floss tuber, um, was talking about it. And um, it's so interesting, the perspective of people who stitch, who live in Europe, because prices are so different. What's popular is so different. It seems like the kits are way more popular there. Yeah. Like, so it's, I love hearing um, people who are not American comment on, but specifically, I guess, people that live in Europe because of like, prices are just very different. Um, and then uh, the Granite State Stitcher. So that was so nice. And then um, two people congratulated us in their videos on opening the Etsy shop yeah. and on the pattern getting started. And we'll save shop news for the end. So I'm not going to go into like, I don't want this to be like a shop floss tube or feel like a designery too much. Like but a design shop. But you should stay to the end. But so the end, I'll, I'll do some shop news. <laughs> but um, Caroline's Stitch Corner and Sarah's Stitchy Spot both like congratulated us Sarah's and me. So, so And we love them. Yes. So thank you guys so much. It means a lot. And I, when we started doing this little section, it was like one person had mentioned us. It was so exciting. It's crazy to like, like I feel connected to all these people and like we know like a yeah. lot of them, but then it's also interesting when you're like, oh, I don't know them and they saw me and now I get to go check out their stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you guys. And then, um, I want to say thank you to two tall stitchers because we shouted them out in our floss tube university section last on our last floss tube because they're full of information and like, you should just be watching them. Like yeah. they work, both have worked, but one does work in their local, like their local needle workshop. Um, quilting experts. If you like a, if you like a floss tube slash quilt, like, yeah, but, I mean, I like the thumbnails alone because there's a different, beautiful, there's a quilt. different quilt every time, every time. All right. And then birthdays, we like to, uh, celebrate other people in the community. So, Christy from Floss Bus and Cousins, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Uh, Jen from Jen Fiber, Jen's Fiber Arts, and she already started that beautiful unicorn sprouting loop pattern. I saw that on And it's like got yeah. the whole unicorn stitch. Yeah. That pattern set the internet on fire. I want it so <laughs> bad, but I just bought a different Me too. One. It's like, I want it so bad, but also no. like, I'm not allowed. Because I, yeah. you guys will see, I bought some cells. Um, all right. Uh... Michelle from Baby Stitchy. Her birthday is actually today. And I'm sad because I don't have any patterns by her right now. But the one that I want is Pocketbook Peacocks. And I can't, yes. I, was, I was like, if I could just go buy it on her Etsy shop, I would start it today. But it's a Nashville exclusive, so it's mm -hmm. not going to be available as a PDF for a while. Yeah. So I will, maybe I'll get that and then save it for next Didn't year. Didn't it originate in a bird box? I looked at Miss Lay Pages, who is the person who put out the bird box last year who the pattern was for. And they have two versions of the pattern available, but they're both sold out. Of course. But the two versions are the Bird Box colorway and the new Nashville colorway. But they're both sold out. And even if I could order it today, yeah. it wouldn't get here for a while. Yeah. So I'm just thinking like, okay, I'm going to wait. But I'm going to know next year when I'm making my start plans, Pocketbook Peacocks is starting March 10th, Which 2025. Colorway? I'll yeah. have to use the Nashville one because I don't want to... I don't want to try to get the dinky dies that the original one was because yeah. the original one came in a box that yeah. had the dinky dies for it. And it's like, it's too hard to source. I'd rather do the DMC. Like, gotcha. I think it might be charted in tree, the tree way silk, but mm -hmm. like with the DMC conversion, yeah. I don't know. Cause I didn't, I was not smart and did not pre-order it. Cause I did not realize I would want to start it today. Mm. <laughs> I was, I was trying to be good at not pre-ordering things. And then I bought some cells. So, <laughs> um, all right. Uh, second one stitcher. Happy, yeah. birthday. Happy birthday. And um, Lofty Makes, and I can't remember her first name, on Instagram. She's not a um, floss tuber, but Lofty Makes on Instagram. Um, happy birthday. And then we've got two floss tubes to congratulate, and then we'll dive into stitching. So first of all, Jessica, the Sweetwater Stitcher, celebrated her two-year anniversary on floss tube, That's which wonderful. is, like, considering how many videos she has out, she's like, she just put out an extra about, like, what she packs for retreats mm -hmm. and like, like she, she's just so, she's so fun to watch. Um, and then Very Julie, yeah, well. she's like, 
and she's a color converter and so that's fun to watch and it's yeah. just she's just great um and then Julie and Stitches just hit 500 subscribers. So congratulations, congratulations. Julie. And we're going to tell you congratulations by showing you Allison's previous finish. So now we're getting into stitching. Okay. So people have requested, Allison has mentioned this previous finish before, and people have requested to see it. This is Allison's first project that she did. What is this, Allison? Tell us about it. Oh, this. this is the Packers Field. This is Lambeau Field. <laughs> So the I first thing been. Allison decided to, like she had crossed each other project, but the first thing she was like, I'm going to finish. I'm going to do it. How long did this take you? I, I think it took six months because I was a monogamous stitcher. So not that long considering how big it is and that it's full coverage. Is but, it black um, and white? It is. It's a grayscale. <laughs> yeah. I decided to stitch a million little people because the, the crowd is full. <laughs> The golf one I have, you can tell they're people. Oh, really? You can, yeah. That's crazy. My husband really, every time I, I'm like, what should I stitch? I want to make you something. He picks sports. So this is the first one. I've also made one of a racetrack. I've made one of a golf course. <laughs> <laughs> I have one more. Which one is that? So is this the, it says 1919. Is this the original 1919? 1919 is the year that the Packers formed, and I finished it in 2019. And is the, um... Is the picture that the pattern is based on of the 1919 crowd or is it of it now? You know, I don't know. Oh, okay. Because it's black uh, and white, so you can't, I don't, we wouldn't know what the original, uh, yeah. yeah. But isn't that just so pretty? But my husband, if you can't tell, my husband's a huge Packers fan. Which is an unusual trait considering that most Oklahomans are Yeah, better. he's born and raised in Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, Oklahomans tend to be Dallas Cowboys fans geographically or yeah, Kansas, Kansas City. City Chiefs fans. And I have I do love both teams, which is kind of a funny... But they were but never... You're, that upsets Jared because if you're a football fan, you, you have be one team. And it's like, <laughs> I don't like football enough to have one team. Like, I like football, but like... Well, I've adopted because I didn't care before, so... <laughs> So the Packers are my NFL team. And I care now, but like, you know, well, before it affects I met him, you, it affects yeah. you a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's like Sundays are dedicated. Well, it's like um, people in my house are a lot happier if Arsenal has won. So now yeah. I have a Premier League team that I care about a lot yeah. because my husband cares about it a lot. Yeah, it becomes Which, part of your life. Yeah, yeah. Well, and my children have little Arsenal jerseys. So, so Allison, that's a beautiful previous finish. Thank you. And do you have any uh, current finishes? I do have a current finish. Ooh. Okay. So, um, I don't have a pattern because you don't need to see it. <laughs> this is Ink Circles, The Queen That Was. And I really don't like that you can't see the glitter on camera. Because it's the, crown, the gold in the credit. Yeah, her crown is all It's very gold glittery in person. She even has a gold. It kind of like, it's so glittery, it kind of looks like it's on fire. Uh, you can tell that it's like a gold metallic, but it doesn't, this doesn't have the effect. Yeah. Well, I took In person, me, it's stunning. It only took me like four days. Yeah, because you were like, I think I want to buy an ink circles. And then you're like, oh, I bought this ink circles. And you're like, okay, I started this ink circles. And then you text me the next day. Okay, I finished this ink circles. <laughs> <laughs> when I have something in my heart that I've got to stitch, then I just do it. And I really, really love this. Although it took me two tries to get this top like triangle part done. Do you have any After ideas? I did the crown, I was like, nope, nothing else is going to fit. <laughs> so I had to pull it all out. Do you have any ideas about what you're going to do for finishing? I love it so much. I want it up. Yeah. I want it displayed. I want it all the time. Well, and like, we both have realized, mm -hmm. um, even though pillows are super cute, neither of us have a lifestyle or live with creatures that would allow us to have tiny My cute pillows. My dog would not. No. Not let me have. Can you imagine what you, what would you do to Lolly if you came home and she had just chewed up the pillow? She chewed my wall and she's alive. So, you know, probably nothing. <laughs> but, um, so maybe a frame, but maybe I might wait until I have more on the same fabric and then maybe frame them, frame all, them all. Yeah. In the same frames or all together. I don't know. You could, um, if you wanted it to be bigger, now I this might, want it to be bigger. might seem insane, but you could just add some border stitching around it. You act like I'm creative. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I follow patterns. That's what I do. Okay. That's it. That's all my finishes. Do you have any finishes? Um, I have a finish for now. 
Let's count it, do it. Wait, so it's not a real finish, but the last time I will ever stitch on it has already happened. So this is Antique Scissors and Tools by Shakespeare's Peddler. And you can see that the full pattern okay. looks like this, or maybe it looks like this. I don't I usually put it over the person who's not yeah. the talker. Um, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing this as a round robin with um, Kat from Whittier Stitches, uh, Eve from Queen Bee Crafts and um, Jordan from Jordanette Needle House. So this is going to go to uh, Kat this week. It should go Monday, but I have to like finish something that is going with it. So um, it'll go Monday or Tuesday. And then um, I will get Eve's piece and Kat split the pattern up. So there's, you saw the pattern, but like there's lots of other scissors. So, and like little heart motifs and stuff. So we know which one to do next. And then once this goes to Kat and it's done, it will go all the way to Australia to Jordan and then it will come back. So when it, wow. like, I think it goes Kat to Jordan to Eve to me. Um, I am doing this in um, a Mo Sale cotton. So Mo Sale Silk is a Facebook group. She now has an Etsy shop too. Um, and I got the cotton in a, like a cotton grab bag, but she said she doesn't really do cottons anymore. So I don't, so you definitely can't get this um, color because it has no name and it came from a grab bag and she said she's not making them anymore. So that, it, but I think it's a pretty color combo um, and I'm sure there's a, lots of companies that make colors that are similar. Um, this is 32 count maple sugar by Lakeside Linens. And part of the reason I picked this is because if I want to hold on to it for later in a time in life, but I could make it into a pillow because the finish on the pattern is a pillow. I thought this would be a really pretty color for a pillow, but if I decided I just want to frame it, it would also look good in a frame. Mm -hmm. Like it's not, I'm not like committed to a finishing style. Yeah. It's such a good neutral. Whereas if I picked a really fun, bright fabric, I might not want to. Put on the wall. Yeah. Or I might need to plan more about like what would go around it than I really want to do because this is obviously for future walls that we're not living in right now. Right. I did get my, the finished pieces I showed last week are mostly up on the wall, but it's so funny because we don't have enough big That's stuff. It. So I had to put the three little things together, which looks a little bit awkward, but it's fine. Um, but it I, looks fine. Be, but it, cause it's like on a small wall, but it's like then the entire living room is just blank space, but we'll get there. So yeah, so, and it lives in this Teresa Kogut bag. Well, Teresa Kogut fabric bag by Jasmine's Custom Bags. And when I get Eve's, project it will live in here and Eve wants people to stitch their own colors and so I'll be stitching with this, this color on her oh but you have to send most of it off I had I had to pick a thread because of that and and it's a really small pattern so I think one skein would have been fine but because of that I just made sure I had two skeins of whatever I was going to pick so that I have so I could send a full skein with the project and keep the remainder of that skein for the because I have to do that on two other projects uh, Kat and Eve both want uh, our colors, and then I think Jordan and I both want our color, like anyway. Your own colors. So I want the whole thing to be that color, but I will also be stitching that color on other on two other projects. So I, I think one skein would have been fine, especially most because they're ten yard skeins. But just to be safe, because of the stitchy box <laughs> situation that I created okay. for myself, which it's we'll talk about later, <laughs> I didn't want to be in a situation where I had to like find some un findable skein of floss and then send it to Australia. <laughs> it's like, I just need to make sure I have enough at the beginning. Ooh, I just knocked the camera. All right, so that's my finish for now. Yay. All right, Allison, I had a start at Palooza. I didn't mean to, but the last two weeks were a start at Palooza. Uh, do you have I a, do have a couple of starts. You have some yeah. new starts? I have okay. some new starts, so you were not alone. I stitched on the same number of projects as normal, but more of them are in the new starts gotcha. category. Gotcha. All right, so what are your starts? Okay. So my starts are, I'll just do them in order. Um, I started this one first. This is, and I don't have it with me. This is 12 Days, 12 Days of, Christmas. of Christmas by Satsuma Street. Which one is this? Um, that is Six Maids of Milky. Oh, this is, a, this is the one you moved it to 16 count? This is 20 count. It's so cute. Isn't it adorable? Because she did one of these patterns on 14 count. Yeah. And it was cute, but huge. It was huge. But these definitely look more ornament yeah. size. Those are tiny. So, it's a very stitches. tiny start, but um, you'll see in a minute. I got distracted by a, a new shiny pattern. So 
I, it's 20 count regular DMC. Well, you'll come back to this. You're just doing it. Absolutely come back to and this. We I have, love having a little one that I can finish. Singing. We have forgotten to say, Allison is stitching Christmas all year, and actually so am I. Um, but Allison and Katie, the Peacock Stitcher, created the hashtag XStitchXmas365. I am, I didn't do any Christmas stitching the last two weeks, but I um, have joined in because I'm working on some stockings that I would like to get done. But so Allison has a lot of Christmas whips. And they're mostly 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> yeah. They are. It's okay. I love it. Yeah. Um, I pretty much only stitch on Ada. I have a couple projects going on linen, but I will not have new projects going on linen unless I need to use up the ones I already have. So. Allison does, is not a linen. I'm not a linen. What's nice about our channel, if you're new here, is that I like, we both like some like manageable full coverage. Neither of us do huge full coverage, but we yeah. like manageable full coverage. But I like, um, Mirabilia and Al Forest, <laughs> and I like to stitch on linen, and I'm learning 40 count, and you like Tiny Modernist and Setsu Mystery, and you like Ada, and so it's like you get a big variety of yeah. things. We will probably not stitch the same thing very often. We we haven't yet. No. And even then, it's like by the time I've seen you stitch it, I feel like I've stitched it. So like I love that Yule Goddess pattern, mm -hmm. but I feel like I did it because I watched you do it. Okay. So I don't need to do it, you know? Yeah. Okay. Sounds um, good. All right, um, that was my first start, and my second, I have a restart. Yeah, the restart was next. Okay, this is a restart, and it's kind of interesting, because that is what it used to be. That is not the start. That is the old start. This is the restart. But look at the colors. Okay, right, so this is the restart, and tell people why you restarted okay, it. Okay, I restarted it because this is the Thomas Kincaid Cinderella Wishes Upon a Dream kit. But that we have a whole extra about we'll link to in the description if you want to see like her kit unboxing video. So I, I first started by switching out oh, the pattern looks like this. I started by switching out the fabric because it came on 18 count. No, it came on. Yeah, 18. Count. Eight, yeah, 18 count plain white Ada, but I wanted smaller count and I wanted a grid. Or no, is that 16? You want Yeah, you wanted bigger holes because you thought that the reason that thread was shredding right. because of the tiny holes right um because you were doing two it was having you do two strands through 18 count and you have to do two strands because of the blends mm -hmm. there's a lot of there's workarounds for that where you can just do one leg in one color one leg in the other color yeah but it's not super fun to do mm. um, anyway okay so i restarted it um on this fabric and then that did not improve the quality of the threads they were still fraying like crazy and Felt like it was wasting a lot because um, it kept breaking. So that is the kit threads with those colors. And then this is the DMC of the same section. Isn't that crazy? Do you think the DMC is prettier? I think the DMC is darker. I think that, um, oh, I mean, it's definitely not the same shade. I think it'll be the same effect. I don't know if it will be. So in the group that's... Um, the Thomas Kincaid Cross Stitch Friends group where people do talk about this stuff a lot. A lot of people like to do the kits as is and then some people like to get the kit and immediately get their own fabric and threads. So people do it both ways. People, Some people say the DMC colors are more vibrant and bolder. And they are more vibrant, but I don't think this is, I don't think it's, I think you could get closer to the original if you wanted that effect of, of the original Like photo. you think that the, um, that the converter they, they could have they could have picked lighter shades, but it's way darker. I I I don't, think, don't think it's so. that much darker because you have so much other color on there, and with full coverage, what, do what think? you place next to it matters as much as what it is. You know, uh, I just think they're different. They're gonna look like different. Pieces. They're gonna sli look slightly different, but I mean, if you hate stitching with that other floss, then I did. It was totally not worth it because you would never finish it. I'm just saying, I don't think the conversion is as close as it could be. Well, do you want to get the card and convert it yourself, or do you want to just go with it? No, I'm just gonna. Are go you with starting it. it again, again? I'm not gonna start it again, again, again because I started it. You already restarted it twice. twice. Yeah. So no, I'm gonna I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna do it as is, but I don't I don't think it's gonna look the same. I think it'll look close enough. We'll see. Because you I think those it? colors are closer, but you haven't but stitched these, any of the lighter. What do the other ones look like? If the whole thing gets darker, like a shade darker, it's gonna be a darker photo, like photo. You know what I'm I mean? I mean, I think you can you can play it by ear as like one by one, but I 
think that it's probably not that everything's like shifted a shade darker. It's probably that some things are darker and some things are slightly like one shade lighter. We'll find out. But to me, that doesn't look that much darker because what you stitch the two or the darkest colors, you haven't stitched the light ones around it. Okay, maybe. Keep but going. Making it Get to the darker. point where you're at the same like level of yeah. completeness and then make, then you'll have a Well, I can't do anything about it. I'm just yeah. saying it's going to be a different shade of a picture. It's not going to be as light as... But I bet it's not that, like... It would be really weird. I mean, I just think it, it's probably not likely that when they were doing the color conversions that everyone was one shade darker. DMC also, a lot of the new colors they released were a lot more purples. So I wonder if there just weren't as many good purple choices at the time. Because, like, I don't think 23 and 24 and stuff were out when that was being done so that's for, that's probably a very old conversion and it's like but you're in like a very purpley corner mm -hmm. so i don't know i don't i wouldn't worry we'll see because it's if people in the group do it and they use that tool so and they prefer it so yeah. many people some like, people like some it's, people it's definitely prefer split, it. but so yeah all right okay next anyway, sorry what my, is this this is um this the alice in wonderland tree by tiny modernist and i saw it and i just like this is the pattern I immediately wanted it. I didn't have the money, but I immediately wanted it. I waited till payday, which was so hard to do, and I'm so glad I did. Because How many days did you have to wait to start it? Three. <laughs> and Meanwhile, three I'm like, days. I'm like, I think I'm gonna buy that pocketbook peacock so that I can start it on March 10th, 2025. <laughs> I bought it Friday. I started it Friday. We're just so different. Oh my god, it's so cute, isn't it? It's adorable. So cute. Oh my god, that Cheshire cat is so isn't good. It so good. All of the figures in this pattern are just like the cutest thing you've ever seen. And you're sure this margin on the bottom? I measured it so many times, okay. Okay. and yet it scares me too. Why don't I'll, so... I will double check it, but how cute is this? Okay. Because even if it was like, I mean, if you're saying two inches, so you're saying it doesn't get further It up. really doesn't get much bigger. Okay. Yeah. Much wider. It doesn't get much wider. It's very long. Well, you'll have it done in two days anyway, so we'll know soon. Pretty, pretty quick. You are doing this as a sal? I'm doing this with, um, she doesn't have a floss too, but she has an Instagram. It's cross underscore stitch underscore couture. Um, and her name's Fanny, and she is so nice. And I just, I, we just got on like house on fire. I'll link to her Instagram yeah. in the description. You guys should go check out her progress, but we are calling this the Tiny Alice Sal. So, um, if you want to join in, if you thought it was cool, um, we'd be happy to watch your progress too. Because, I mean, she started in a different That's place. Really so she already has the mushroom with the caterpillar on it. And it is adorable. And so I just, I love it when we all start in different places. You get to see <laughs> so many different fun things. It's very cool. The only thing, this is, okay, so this is 16 count stone. And I love this color. And I specifically was like, I want this fabric for this. But then I didn't realize the white is a bit close. So I backstitched the teacup. And even with the backstitch, oh. I'm not sure it shows up. I think it shows up. I think it shows up better in person than it does on the screen. I think it's, I think in person you're fine. Yeah. Um, it just means I'm going to have to like backstitch You could backstitch it in yellow if you oh. were stressed. Yeah. We'll see. I like it for now. But it's very pretty. Thank you. I love it. I love it too. Um... Do you have any other new starts? Nope, those okay. are my new starts. Okay. Do you have any new starts? I have five. And okay. I did, I had two planned. I thought I was going to have two, but I have five. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, this is a planned one. So last year in September, I did a, it was one of our first extras actually. Um, it was the unboxing video for my Alforest kits. And then I had like a bunch of other thread packs and I, um, so many of those thread packs have been started, but the kit that I bought was actually called Easter. So I wasn't going to start the kit first. So I started it this week and it looks like this. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And, um, I am doing it with the Alforce threads because I did buy it as a kit. Now, um, you know what? We have another start and it's a mystery. Oh, well, we'll just talk about it when I get to it in my notes. Um, I also started something else too, yeah. So it lives in this Easter bag by Carrie Sews for You, which was actually one of the first, this was like the first kit I bought. And then this is the, um, like one of the first bags I bought because it was on sale, but I was like not gonna, you know, it was like, it was on sale for like $19 or something crazy. Yeah. Look at those little Easter eggs. It's super cute. And I love Carrie's bags. Um, all right, so I am using the thread pack. The fabric is 32 count. 
it came in the kit. It's called um, Fairy Dust. And I, Al Flores fabrics, kit fabrics are kind of notorious for not being big enough. So I did like triple check the measurement. Verify that. Again. I verified. Yeah. But isn't that the, like just the most beautiful Easter palette? Yeah. And these are, um, really cool. in our last floss too, we talked about like, oh, I don't really have that long of an Easter season to stitch it. Um, and I love stitching out for us. This was actually super fun. And I stitched this during the finale and the reunion of Traders. So this has a very sentimental place in my heart. Um, the kit, so the kit, Al Ford's kits come with the needle and the fabric and the floss and then also like a matching little needle minder. That's so so it's like the center egg motif. Aww. Um, I, would I buy another Alpha Wars kit? So basically I bought one kit to have the experience of the kit. And then I bought a bunch of other thread packs. And I do like the thread packs better because I like finding my own fabric, knowing that my border is like a little <laughs> bit better. And then also the problem is with Alpha Wars is the shipping is very expensive. It's like $20 and it's $20 whether you order like $10 or whether you order $100 because of the way, like where the, the money is mostly going into getting the products from Russia to the US. Mm -hmm. So um, if I was, I will do another Alforce order because I want to get the thread packs for other charts that I'm going to start in the future. So like when I know I'm going to start those, then I'll just place the order. Is it the Wizard of Oz one? No, no, I don't, I'm, gonna do I'm not doing the Wizard of Oz, but um, it's like, well, maybe we will stitch the same. If, if I'm going to order thread packs, I will tell you, okay. do you want to get in, to get anything? But I'm not going to be doing it for a while because I have, it's um, for autumn flowers and rooks and a couple other things I have planned for like way down the road. Um, I have no immediate plans, so don't stress. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the problem with Alice's plans is they become immediate. Like you could never be like, oh, I'm going to get an L4 thread pack and start, because it takes a month. Like, so. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't take a full month, well, but I don't you need really, to plan I don't really use specialty Threads no, anyway, but so. I do think um, you should get one because they're really fun to stitch with and they're so pretty. Like just the variegation and stuff is just so pretty. I agree. It's lovely. And they're very generous with their threads. So the pack for 32 count uh, two over one is the same pack for 28 count three over one. So you have like a bunch of extra thread allowance. Um, I'm using this... Uh, I think it's four inch princess soup for stitching this because it's such a cute little because I'm doing tiny little motifs. Um, and this is one where I got the notions bag for, for free with it. So cute. And it's got a little bunny. Aww. Anyway, you guys have never seen this bag before, or if you did, it was just, I don't think so because I didn't have this kit in this bag when I did my kit parade. So even though it was like my, one of my first bags I bought, I don't think you guys have ever seen it. I love it. I was worried about the fabric. I'm not anymore. And even though it's just this Weigart, it's not unpleasant to stitch on. Like, mm -hmm. um, it's just kind of a creamy ivory color. I like the name color. Fairy Dust. It's not as cute. It does. It's not a cute enough color to deserve the name Fairy Dust, but it's <laughs> fine. And it's very sweet. <coughs> and I was stitching this and I was watching Traders and I was just like as happy as I've ever been in my entire life. I love Al Force. Like, yeah. I, which is funny because one of my other, my, one of my Al Force whips, I was falling asleep while I was working on it. And that's really unusual for me because I love stitching Al Forest. So I, that's how I knew it was like time to go to bed. <laughs> All right. So that was my first start. That got 400, over 400 stitches. My next start is um, Una Owl by the Artsy Housewife. And you can see the pattern. Um, I'll show the pattern now. And... This is my start. This is to about 250 stitches. Oh, um, the whole thing. Yeah. Am I holding it wrong? No, no, no. no oh. You're holding it right. So basically, the next thing I want to do is finish the border because I love this fabric. And I have a gift that I want to do that I think that is what for our other sister. Yeah. That I think will fit in the extra. You know, we could talk about Valerie. She watches we, our videos on mute bad just to be supportive. Though. Yeah. So it's like, watches so on mute. <laughs> I have a gift plan that I need to stitch for her in the next two weeks. And I think when I get to the, cause this is, so I think it has about this much left and then the border. And I think if I measure what I'm gonna put, like that it will fit in there. Okay. Cause I'm framing it myself. So I, I don't need a huge allowance and it's like gonna be tiny. So I love this fabric. This is Eureka by Fox and Rabbit. It's really pretty. Um, it's not my favorite color I've ever stitched on, 
But I will say this is my second piece of Fox and Rabbit fabric and the actual experience of stitching in and out of, like it is wonderful because it's also when I'm stitching coffee and eggs on and I stitched. So I bought a fat quarter that I split up between coffee and eggs and that Darling Starling sampler. So I've stitched a lot of the, that fat quarter has gotten stitches. So it's like, and so it's like, I, I just feel like I love Fox and Rabbit fabric and I want to use every little scrap of it. That's what one of my lips is on. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's so nice, it's right? It's very nice if it was not, not linen. 40 count. <laughs> That's 40 count linen. Okay, sorry. So this is 28 count. So this is the called for fabric, but it, I, there wasn't a called for count. And I, this, and I, when I kitted up these RC Housewife kits, I just bought like all the recommended stuff because I bought them all like at the beginning of September. So it was very new stitcher. Um, and so where there wasn't like a specific called for count, I just got 28. But if there was like, if it was called for 40 or called for 36, then I got the called for. I am using all of the called for flosses. Now I would now I wouldn't buy the weeks. I'd convert it to classic color works or general arts. But when I, at the time I didn't know that. So this is the color palette and it's kind of a fall color palette, but for some reason I really like I stitching like it. it in spring. Yeah. And I was working on it yesterday and I realized I didn't have, there's one DMC in the, in it and I didn't have it. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll just stop. Because I was like, I wanted to finish this motif, but if I couldn't finish this motif, I didn't want to do anything <laughs> else. And so I was like, okay, I'll stop. Because I have, there's like a line of just winter white that goes in the middle of it. And I'm using this um, Duchess, I think it's like a nine inch hoop. Or, um, and it lives in this, this is by Ragtech Quilt Art, but it's another Teresa Kogut fabric. Uh, I love it. I mean, I just, I'm a hard, artsy housewife. I like the All color forest girl. All right, so that, and it, like I said, it got 250 stitches. All right. My next one is our secret stitch. So the Hathaway Stitchers. You want to see mine? It looks like this. Are hosting a secret <laughs> stitch. So they, that's where they tell, they used to do them together. I think this is the first one that. Well, I know that's the first one that they're yeah. doing it publicly because they just started their floss tube. And their yeah. floss tube is so wonderful. It's really good. They yeah. just put out a finished parade that was really yeah. good. Oh, so for the secret stitch, they announced the pattern. The pattern is Ink Circles Garden of Zig, and I'll show the pattern here. And the rules for the secret stitch are you pick your fabric and you pick your floss. Nothing can be called for, and you can't show or tell anyone what you've picked. So we have a group chat where people keep like, almost forgetting that they can't show it and then remembering and then being like, oh, I can't show it. Yeah. Um, it's still good because I like posting my stats. <laughs> yeah. So everyone's just like, I'm, I'm like, I'm 1% complete, guys. Because I did 83 stitches. Um, but, but Allison's like, I'm 87%. No. What? Like 11%. Or... So um, it's, it's going to end May 31st. So if you are interested in this, um, like you have tons of time to join. We have a group chat on Instagram. Just follow... Um, Hathaway stitchers are boomerang stitches and cozy town stitches. Mm -hmm. I know the first part. I, yeah. I get the difference between it. stitcher and stitches and all. Oh, but anyway, mm, yeah. I'll tag them because if you want to do this out, you need to follow them on Instagram and let them know so they can add you to the group chat. And it's if, fun. If you just want to watch their delightful floss tube, that will also be linked. So I did 83 stitches. You did more than that. More than 80. But we can't show you. And so in the future, we'll just be like, I worked on it, but we can't show you. I did. I worked on it. I got some progress. All right. Well, it was a start. We started it. So my last two starts, um, I told you guys about one of them and then the other one was like a total last minute. So I decided to start. Um... <laughs> Do I have to hold this up? Yeah, it this way. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am, how did I not know that? So I decided to join two Leap Day Sal's because oh I have four years to finish it. So why not? Why not? So Nancy, I mentioned this last time, but Nancy, the, I think I did, Nancy, this orderly sister announced that she was going to host a Shores of Hawkorn Hollow. Uh, if you didn't mention it, you've been talking about it for, since Leap well, Day. to you, yeah. <laughs> but that was actually technically going to start March 1st and I decided to start it on Leap Day. Oh, okay. Yeah. But um, that has a Facebook group and it's going to have like Zooms and stuff. And I'm, and Marissa from MKSA Creations is stitching Shores and so we've been talking about it and nice. like... So it's, um, it was a good, so I started it on the 29th just to have it as a leap day start, but the goal for this is to get a thousand stitches this month. Well, the goal is for every month you to do one fourth of a block. Um, so it's a little bit higher than that. Um, because you basically need to complete one block of, of, a, of this piece every four months in order to finish February, 2028. Even that big one in the center. 
That would take more Well, that eight. you would divide that. That's oh, okay. Okay. So it, it's basically you got to do one forty eighth of the pattern. Gotcha. And I, I'm also doing Village of Hawker and Hollow, and I'm like debating whether I should just put it on the same schedule. Mm. Um, or not, but it might make it easier. I could put it on the same schedule, and then if I decided I want that one to be done earlier, I could change it mm -hmm. like at some point. But at least be getting progress. It's on my Whipco board three times this year, and my original goal for that piece was just to get one block done. But it'd be cool to get more than that. But we'll see. It's so many things to stitch. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so this is on forty count um, wheat by Fiber on a Whim. I think it might be picture this plus, but I think it's Fiber on a Whim. This is a cool color. I like it a lot. I just, I, I ordered a couple options for fabrics for Village of Hawker and Hollow, and this was like the backup fabric. Mm. So it was just sitting in my stash waiting to go. Yeah. This is, a, I like it. I like and they're it very, they live in the same bag, and the fabrics are like, they both live in this Carrie Sews for You winter Amish bag. Although it's not quite, it, there's something weird about keeping a New England piece in an Amish bag, but like, if you know, you know. But this is what I'm doing village on. So like they're very close. Yeah, I see that. This is a little bit darker. Yeah, yeah. This is, I have a piece of the called for, which is sand by uh, Lakeside Linen, but it wasn't big enough to do it. It was like, I just have like a little nine by 13. So this is closer to the called for, but they're both like in the same period. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, now we have my last leap day start. So this one was truly irresponsible. <laughs> this is my Mirabilia 2024 leap day start. So, um, I think it was Mindy. Might have been Melanie. I think it was Mindy. Um, they co-run or co-admin one of the, like one of, one of the premier Mirabilia Facebook groups and decided that she wanted to stitch Lady of the Flag over four years as a leap day start and then asked the other people if they wanted to do like any Mirabilia and then she decided like, okay, if you join the Facebook group or tag her on and, and tell and post a picture of your start by the end of March, and I haven't actually done that yet, I need to. Um, at the end of the four years, anyone who posts a completed Mirabilia of the one that they started will be entered in a raffle for a drawing for Lady of the, her copy of Lady of the Flag because then she'll be done with it. So it's like, that's a pretty good incentive to just good. like get yeah. going. Yeah. So I was like, has she seen how much it is? Has she told her to watch her video? <laughs> <laughs> they actually do, do giveaways in that group all the time of like, people will find out of print patterns and give them to her to give away. Wow. Um, I'll link the, the, um, her Instagram account and I will link, um, the Facebook group for the Sal and the main Facebook group. Cause even if you're not in the Sal Facebook group, if you like Mirabilia's, you should be in this one because it's a great place, like you can find errors, you can find other people's conversions, like tips, like it's it's very helpful. So this is, when I was thinking about like what I would wanna start in two days for like a Mirabilia start, I was like, what's the one Mirabilia in my like pattern book that I have here that I ha I could kit from Stash, mostly, I had to buy some DMC, but mostly kit from Stash, and also like I'm sad I'm not working on. And of all the ones that I had that did not already have planned starts for this year, it was this one, which is waiting for ships. And it's this mermaid. And that's just perfect. And I had already bought this is um, 28 count looks really good. vintage pair from Lakeside Linen. I do think it's a little funny to be doing a Mirabilia on Lakeside Linen. It's kind of like two different worlds colliding. I'm sure there are other Mirabilias on Lakeside Linen, but that's not to the typical reason people buy it. Mm -hmm. Right, like people buy it, like someone wanted to do like reproduction samplers mostly. Oh, I didn't know. That. And I, I, and like, you know, people tend to buy like fancy, like over dyed or just like very plain Witchell for Mirabilia. So it's kind of funny, but it was just the perfect color. Like I'm just obsessed with it. Yeah, I love this color. So I just did a center top start. And like I said, I just wanted to do on my two leap days, I just wanted to have official February 29th starts. And then this month they're supposed, supposed to, she's supposed to get a thousand stitches this month. So nice. I don't know if they'll both get their full amount of stitches, but they'll both get like, they'll look, next time I show you guys them, they'll look like things. So, um, I did buy the rest of her. No, I didn't. I thought I was going to buy the rest of her DMC yesterday. And then I made a terrible error and accidentally left it in the cart and I had already completed the payment. And so I had to leave it there because I wasn't going to do a second payment when you're in line at a craft store with 50 people behind you. So I'm using this uh, Princess Oval for her. And uh, her thread pack is a giant mess because I, I like literally, these were such last minute starts, I didn't organize them yet. Yeah. So I have to sit down with both of these and like 
put them on floss drops. And she lives in this Carrie's house for you. This is her bag. That's cute. And those are my starts. Yay! Yay! It was, it was the a start of the week. <laughs> oh, those both got um, like less than 50 stitches. So like nothing. All right, whips. Right. What are your whips, sissy? All right, I have... I have three whips. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I have more than that. I figured. Not too many Because more, your starts more. were, my starts had more than 50 stitches. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you had, there was probably I had a lot like of tiny starts. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'll do this one first. This is from the um, Stitch for Pride 2024 Sal from D's 20 Stitches. And um, I've already completed January, February, and this is March. And you're gonna have I love to, your colors. yeah. I completely forgot to look up the name of the I, it's Stephanie, inspiration Stephanie artist. She. It was Stephanie something. I, I think it's Stephanie She. Um, but I haven't done the learning part yet, so um, I cannot tell you all the wonderful things about this person. But you will next time. But I we... will know next time um, when it's finished, so I will get to talk about it again. And honestly, I don't know their pronouns, but I think it's Stephanie She, okay. the artist. But I know. I know that whatever they're... it is, I'll put it right here, the yeah. correct one, whether I'm right or wrong. And then next time, I also will have done all the learning. I'll do the learning part. Oh, sorry. I keep knocking the camera today. Um, I love well, the color. I started it, and it was so fun. I love, I love working with these crazy colors, and it's just... And, like, I feel like they fit the whatever I'm working on. Like, this is a sriracha bottle. And, like, how fun is that sriracha bottle? So, it's, and this is the called for... Um, fabric, but not the color floss. I just use Cosmos. And this is Mislaid Pages Determination. Is the It's a 16 count Ada. It's really pretty. Thank you. I'm having a lot of fun on this stitch along. And I'm sorry if you can't, if you wanted to do it, Stephanie, um, but you can't do it. Yeah, but you can't do I've it. I've come to terms with it. They have said that they're going to release individual, As individual, patterns. individual patterns at the end of the South. And so they said there may not can. be the directions to like put it into a sampler like this, but I can just look at yours on the wall and be like, <laughs> you can guess. Mm, where should yeah. it go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that was my first whip. This is my second whip. I'm actually really proud of this whip because um, this is also one of my um, monthly stitches. You're in that big one, the coffin one? No. Yes, but not only did I do the coffin one, which is not done, I did February. So oh. I, I did the whole thing because I it was oh, just wow. a border. Yes, and this looks so good. So good. Are yeah. you sure you're going to just give up? You could just have one linen piece going at a time. No. <laughs> no. Never. She's like, never again. Well, never 40 count. Let's. I won't say never I on lower I you should try 36 counts. because to my eyes, because we both have like major... Not major. Like, no, I have major eye problems. We have eye problems that are like, you know, from childhood where Genetic. it's like, we just never like, so, but I do think for me, cause I'm in a transition lens, um, I can see 40 and 36 now without magnifiers once I got my glasses fixed, but 36 is a very, is a much easier experience than 40. Well, I have a 32 count on Liz Matthews pumpkin. I love 32. Pumpkin house. And so... I don't, I haven't pulled that out since the fall, the fall, but, um, I don't remember loving it. Like, once a month, 40 count Fox and Rabbit prehistoric linen. Um, it is one, it's so soft and when I can see it, you know, then it's, it's easy to stitch with. It's just, I can't see it. So. <laughs> oh, I have another whip, but it's, <laughs> it's in my purse. Okay, so it's not ironed because it was in my purse. Because Allison irons ago. all of our whips. She's so sweet about it too. And then she tells me, this, this, this linen, the hoops don't, marks don't come out of this linen. I just don't <laughs> like this linen. And I'm like, I like it. I'm sorry. Ada <laughs> irons so much better. I'm just saying. This is, what the name of it? Garden of Skulls. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. By Prairie Moon. Um, this is oh, my travel like stitch. This is what it looks like. And I love it. I absolutely love it. It's gonna look amazing done. I mean, it already looks like it's coming along nicely. This is just um, 14 count black Ada and 602, I think is the pink DMC. That's really pretty. Easy, easy to stitch, easy to follow. This is what I keep when I travel and I love it. It's so pretty. I love it. It's so good. It's good. It's taking me a long time because it is 14 count 
Oh, this is a restart. I didn't say it's that. It's a restart because the because man oh my god, I wish we didn't have to say that. <laughs> that was a whip. <laughs> I have one more whip, and it is a pattern by Cross Stitch the Globe. You can find it on Etsy. Well, no. Oh, you will be able to find it on Etsy. This one is not available yeah. yet. The, she's stitching the model for me, and on these really small ones, I can't list them without a model. Right. But it's, tur it's turning out wonderful. Look at that. It's so pretty. Look at that. So here's the original photo that it's based on. And then here is, um, whenever that one is done, I will post the uh, mock-up of the pattern. But when you're talking about converting a travel photograph into something this small, you're taking a lot of colors out and a lot of detail out. And so until you stitch it, you really just don't know if it's going to look right. And what, and there's a lot of changes you make along the way on these little ones mm -hmm. or potentially might need to. Whereas like the bigger ones, it's like, that's fine. Like it's, it looks good and you can tell going through the, the threads if they're going to be an issue. Well, you can totally see the lake, the yeah. mountains, the sky. It looks great. It's looking great. Um, and I was so happy. I was like, I'm finishing it. And it's like 42%. Oh yeah, there's another page. <laughs> Cause it's really gonna be. It's twice as big as this. So um, I have a long way to go on this, <laughs> but it's turning out just amazing. I love it. So whatever Allison does finish it, then I'll take like a, like a week to get the pattern together and go through the notes of anything needs to be changed and yeah. create the final one and upload it into the Etsy shop. And you gotta get it framed. Oh yeah, I don't need to get framed because I'll need a, a picture of the model that's like a good solid picture, so. Mm -hmm. And I can join your collection on the wall. So cool. That's really good. I like it. Okay. All right. Oh, and I'm just stitching it on. Um, this is 16 count pre-grade Ada. I love the pre-grade. I didn't before. I was one of those people who always gridded it myself, but this saves so much time. This saves hours and hours. My whip. Oh yeah. What are your whips? <laughs> so this is the thing I stitched on the most in the last two weeks. This um, got almost 1,100 stitches because I had to finish my whip go call for February. So this is Cinderella by Mirabilia. And you can see the pattern here. And I was like up here last time so and had done some of this ribbon. So I finished this ribbon, pulled this down, and then I started the grass of the castle. However, <laughs> I thought I outlined this correctly to just do the fill in this green patch. I did not. There is a major counting error in there. Oh, no. So not sure if I'm going to need to fix it or fudge it. But what I have to do now is next time this, because this will definitely get work in May for Mira May, because I'm going to do a thousand stitches on every Mira Billy I have. But this is also on Whipco two more times. So if it gets called for April, cool. If not in May, I need to, everything up here is right. So I need to come into the castle from up here and then go down and then come back this way to see if the error is going to be a problem because I literally can't figure out. You can't figure out what the I can't figure is. out what the error is. Oh, I hate that. And okay. so I just need to come in this way, go down and come back over. Mm -hmm. And that will probably be all I get done in May or the next time. It's like either April or May, yeah. depending on whip go. I love it. But I love it. It's so pretty. Um, Catherine from, well, Catherine, the needleberry stitcher on floss tube. She is doing the same piece because these were both, this is a princess birthday sal, hashtag princess birthday sal, Allison's birthday Yay. sal um, start. She's doing Cinderella too, but she's doing it on a color conversion that is stunning. I really like the classic colors on this. It's one of the things that drew me to it, but her color conversion is is amazing and I'm, I'm loving seeing her what she's doing on it. So you should definitely check her out. Um, I don't think she's posted it on a floss tube, but she's definitely... Instagram it. Well, she's posted it on a floss tube. I don't know if her most recent, like, because she's, like, almost done with the castle. But definitely follow her on Instagram, too. Like, it's, and I'll put those in the description. It's, her conversion is so pretty. And then um, our next extra we talked about is going to be uh, making needle minders. And look, Allison made me this needle minder for my Cinderella. Um... And I don't keep, we talked about it in that video, I don't keep my needle minders on my pieces. That's good. So I'm going to put it away separately. Good, good. Lives in this uh, Cinderella bag that was a bag that Jasmine Custom Bags, Jen from Jasmine Custom Bags made. Yeah. Uh, actually made custom for your birthday. Um, but she had a floss tube out recently too. And her floss tubes are short because she doesn't do, she does so much more sewing and bag sewing. Mm -hmm. And her stitching, she doesn't do as much stitching as like, 
people who don't have an entire bag business to run. So her floss tubes are relatively short, but really cool. And she started showing like upcoming fabrics and stuff for her bags. So yes. definitely check her out. She's linked under um, like shops we love under Instagram. Um, all right. This is my other princess birthday style start. Actually, this is a pattern by me. This is called, well, I just changed the name because I just put this one up in the shop. So this is uh, Portugal number one, uh, Pina Palace. Because I was calling it Centra, which is the town name, but the, I forgot the palace's name is actually Pina Palace. So um, you could, it's based on this travel photograph um, of this Portuguese palace. And then here's the mock-up. And I went ahead and I did go ahead and list it in the shop because it's, like 15,000 stitches. So I'm, I'm like, and I've pulled all the threads and stuff. So I'm cool with like placements and things that I already made edits. Um, if I make any more edits. So when I list things in the shop that are just, are that don't have models, they're a lower price. So, um, then when the model, whenever, some of them will never have models, but the ones that are getting models eventually, I'll go in when the and re update the pattern with the model. And if any like minor changes come out, I'll put them there, but like, I'm not anticipating really. Um, so I did a thousand thirty two, so and I'm kind of bored of this guy. And I'm <laughs> that happens. Guys, let's talk about how many times I use this sentence today. So I made a major counting error here <laughs> in this guy. So I cannot be working over here. I have to come down in this yellow to because I think I'm both one row over and one row not down far enough. So I can't quite figure it out. So I need to come down here with you all this. You can't budget because it's your own pattern. I, this is like this yellow part of the, like the beautiful details in this building. Once I do that, then I'll know where the pink needs to be mm. and know if I need to just, I think I need to add stitches in one place and frog a couple stitches in another, but I just don't want to do that until I'm 100% sure what is what. Mm -hmm. And then I came, because I was getting bored of the sky, I started in on the dome so that I could do, go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Um, and I like that, but because of this error, I can't continue here until mm. this error is resolved. I could come in and work over here more if I wanted to, but, um, I'm, I it already hit its March goal. So I'm trying to do a thousand stitches a month on it. So in April, when I pick it up, I just need to start in on this yellow and then that will be really helpful. Yeah. It's, um, and so, yeah, it's funny. Both of your birthday style starts were the things I worked on the most this month. And it lives in this 805 stitcher bag. And I am stitching it with uh, this oval princess soup. It might be a Dutch soup actually. Somebody asked like what the difference is. Oh, and somebody commented that they didn't know vintage hoops, but they found a bag of four vintage hoops, like two, including two princesses and a duchess or something for seven, like something crazy where I was like, yeah, I'm so happy for you. She said she only bought it because I talk about them all the time. Oh, really? So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll keep talking about them because we're saving the hoops. Yeah, save um, the hoops. Yeah, it's a, it's a duchess. But this one is a little loose. What I found is um, the ones that are a little bit loose are perfect for Ada because the Ada is just enough thicker that I don't need to put any washi tape. If I wanted to use this one for linen, I would need to put some tape on it or twill tape or ribbon or something to make it tighter. Mm. But with the Ada, I don't need to do any adjustments. So that's good. Um, all right. Now, this next piece also got, uh, this next piece got almost a thousand stitches. So this is Yellow Submarine. I am, this was a whip that I already had, but I'm stitching it for the Fab Four Fan Sal, which me and Julian Stitches are hosting. Julian Stitches and I are hosting. Uh, hashtag fab for fan sal. If you're joining us, a lot of cool people have joined us. If you're joining us in the last floss tip I mentioned, a lot of people, you can go check them out. And then, um, on Instagram, tag me or Julie so that we can share your progress, um, and follow us to see other people's progress. And I am cross stitch the globe on Instagram. Allison is Allison at the moment on Instagram, but you're not starting one now. You were I going to, started it yet. You were going to do Eleanor Rigby and then something. I will do Eleanor Rigby. Just I don't have any. She keeps. Bu she kept buying fabric and then hating the fabric, and so I spent a lot of money on this style yeah. already. And, and so I'm she's just... like, I'm just taking a break. Yeah. And I can't get like, even though I have a really good fabric stash, we don't stitch on the same kinds of fabric. So mm -hmm. she can't just come over and like find something cool. Like, she, and it's hard to buy fabric when you're not in the store. It just means you need to buy more. Ada. <laughs> That's all that means. <laughs> All right, so, but last night I finished the submarine. Yay. Yay. It looks really good. So this piece looks a lot more done than it is. Um, 
Well, it has 1,800 stitches left. It's just not that big of a piece to begin with. So, it you know, if I were to just do the 200 stitches a week that I tell myself I need to do, I'd finish in a couple months. But I'm all, I'm only 200 stitches away from its March goal, so it's not gonna get that much more time in March because I decided to like front load all of my stitches. I decided to, instead of focusing on theme days, to kind of just like pick up a couple pieces, knock those goals out, and then move on. And so I might not show as many of the same pieces week to week anymore. Mm. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, it only has 1,800 stitches left. So this is what I'm thinking. I did buy the Lola Crow Deadly Aquarium. Mm -hmm. so we mm -hmm. talked about this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That starts April 15th. Mm -hmm. I am out of bags. And I'm definitely out of like cute water themed bags. And this piece lives in this very cute yellow cat submarine bag from Whittier Stitches. She made me. It's not, she doesn't sell uh, bags. She just made me this bag. So what I'm thinking is, if I try to finish this, both of them are going to live in this bag because I don't have another bag to put it in. But that will give me a good incentive to be like, okay, Stephanie, you love this piece, but you do need to finish it. Like, you can't That's switch it forever. That's a great idea. So, like, you should probably finish it. If you're still close. Because I, like, I don't really want to finish it. Um, I'm using this. I well, think then don't finish it. Uh, princess hoop. But I was just thinking last night, like, oh, I'm done with this. Like, I was happy I was done with the submarine, but I was also sad. <laughs> I really, I mean, I really I don't it. understand it, but I'm also, I have heard it before. I'm also stitching Strawberry Fields Forever. Um, for the sale, that was my new start for the sale, and that is going to get a thousand stitches this month. So the next time you guys won't probably see this. Well, you'll, you might see this because I have a little bit left for this month, but you'll definitely see that one. And then I'm using the called for uh, General Arts Reds. But yeah, I mean, it's like this is going to get you know this is definitely going to be a state fair entry because yeah. it's definitely going to get done by the summer and be framed and everything for the state fair. So I want it by then, but like. You know, it's just so, it's so delightful to stitch. I can't explain it. So um, this is on 28 count through the stones by Bestitch Me. And I saved the other half of this fat quarter for Octopus's Garden. So this is La Maison by the Spanish Stitcher, who on YouTube goes by the Spanish Stitcher Trelly. And this is a sal hosted by Katie from So Tattered. I think Elva Stitcher is also... She was either already stitching the pattern or joined the sal. But if you're looking for inspiration on this piece, follow Alba Stitcher too. And she has a good floss tube as well. And um, you can see the pattern here. Now, last time I was like, I don't know how to pronounce this, but then I think it is the French pronunciation. So I'm not going to stress myself out about it because the Spanish Stitcher posted something else that was like a French design. So I was like, you know what? I don't know. Um, I only did, let's see, I only did about 250 stitches. What? Low battery. Oh, okay. I did about 250 stitches and it's going to get about 250 more this month. So I want to, I, but I did get down far enough where I could cut off the excess fabric. So that was good. Um, cause I had, I put that in the pink, the pink barn by the artsy housewife. Cause I got to get rid of that, which will got to get rid of it. Um, so yeah, so I'm just like, you know, the next time you see it, it's going to be creeping around, coming down and hopefully they meet and it's not super exciting, but once that part's done, then I can not be stressed. And this is 40 count. Maple Sugar by Lakeside Linen. And I just love it. And the colors on this are so pretty. It lives in this 805 Stitcher bag. You can see the color palette. And I'm using this uh, Princess Hoop. I love it. But I can, I, I, what I do is I only really stitch this when I'm by myself in the mornings, mostly in my car. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes after I drop my son off at school, before I go work, because I usually co-work at our parents or Starbucks, I'll sometimes sit and just stitch this for 30 minutes, like in peace, with like that good daylight light. I can only do 40 count in daylight. Um, full on, that, not even cloudy. That good, good light? Oh, yeah, that good light. All right, now we're getting down to some where it's like, I'm gonna show you, but not a lot of stitches happen. So this is one of my Whipco calls for March. This is, <laughs> this, this is a blanket. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, it is literally the size of a lap. <laughs> yeah, you could use it. Um, I don't know why I unfolded it. I should have just folded it up to the little corner. So this is Alyonushka's Alphabet by Al Forest. This is a Cyrillic sampler that does the Cyrillic alphabet. It's really beautiful. My Whipco call is for 1,300 stitches, which will get me a, a finish on this block and get me part to the next block. Oh, that's great. Um, this is the letter A. 
and the next letter is the letter B, but then the next one is V, which looks like a B, but has like a little, and that will be fun to do letter, like, because I read Cyrillic and I can write Cyrillic, but I can't like speak the languages, mm -hmm. but I love the alphabet. So, um, I've said this before, but if you're new here, the Cyrillic alphabet is not the Russian alphabet. It is an alphabet used by many Eastern European Slavic cultures, and it was actually like invented by uh, two monks that were living in what is now North Macedonia at, time, at the time was part of the Bulgarian Empire. And I lived in Bulgaria for four years. My son was born in Bulgaria. Um, I write and like about Bulgaria for one of my websites, so it has a special place in my heart. So even though I love Russian literature and culture and language, um, not government, but the rest of it, um, this is actually like in honor of like Bulgaria, which you most people don't even think about on a regular <laughs> basis. All you need to really know is that that Greek yogurt you're eating is actually Bulgarian yogurt. <laughs> so, Did not know that. Fun fact, it's a Bulgarian like organism that makes it, yeah. I was stitching this um, and I got sleepy and it, this little bird and I was like, okay. I mean, but it, uh, it's a whip though, so it's gonna get its stitches. Yeah. And it lives in this, Carrie says for you. Red cross stitch bag just because it's got a lot of red in it. And, really cute. And I didn't want to get like a special thing made. And then the um thread pack. It can't like the thread pack is huge, but it's like the seven same seven or eight colors just repeating over and over again. So I don't have to have them all out at once. But it is the Alforest thread pack. And I didn't buy this as a kid. I just bought the thread pack, but I bought a little needle minder, which is um of the letter ya, which is what looks like that backwards R. It's a, it's a ya, and um, the letter is pronounced ya, but it's also like R-I in terms of like, it also means I and is used by itself for I. So like, if you wanted to say lo I love you, you'd say like ya tabla lubu, depending on like formality and stuff. So in Russian, I don't know, in Bulgarian. But so that's my favorite letter. So that's why I bought the needle. You can buy it in, on their website. You can buy any letter as a needle minder. And I was like, well, I want that one because that's my favorite. <laughs> All right. Now, this is Fairy Flora. She was a Whipco call for February that did not get, no, for January that only got partially done and then didn't get done in February. Um, so she only got 70 stitches. <laughs> So basically what happened was once I like, I kind of like was like going, going, going. And then I kind of got a little bit sick of just being in the stress, but I'm not emotionally ready to come up here and do the face and the bodice and stuff. Cause that's a lot more complicated. Yeah. So this month, the January Whipco call will get finished. I only have like 600 more stitches to finish it, but I just like needed a break, but she's so pretty and I love stitching her. I'm stitching her as part of the fairy floral retirement cell with Rachel from Licking Floss and, um, Sarah from Memphis Sarah, you joined us and neither of them have her as a current whip out right now, but you should follow them anyway and watch them anyway because they're wonderful. Yeah. And she lives in this Carrie Sews for You flower bag. Very pretty. Although she has gotten not some animal just ran by. It was probably the cat. We have a million feral cats. But it was the world's largest cat. Yeah. That's that checks. That sounds right. Okay. Yeah. That checks. I have one whip left and I don't care. You guys are gonna laugh at me. I don't care. So, this is Wildflowers by Ink Circles. This is my Ink Circles Round Robin that I'm doing. You can see the, so that's where I am. You can see the original pattern. You might think, Stephanie, that's what it looked like last time. You'd be wrong. There are nine additional stitches because I put in hundreds of additional stitches because I would, I put them in and then had to take them out. And then I put them in again and realized I'd made the same counting error, took them out again, because I had to frog it again or I was gonna lose where the error was. And then I had to stop and yeah. put it in timeout. So I, I have to finish it by the end of this month to send it off. So it's gonna get picked up again, but I needed to give it a, like a little bit of break. Yeah. Even though I love it and it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. And I'm really stitching pretty. it with um, Morning Dew, which is a, a Mosel cotton. Mm. Uh, I know you can't really see it. Um, and it lives, I just, this is kind of my round robin bag. So I love it. It's very pretty. I'm stitching it on Waterfall by Forbidden Fiber Co. My margin's crazy, but I knew that before I even started because I just really wanted it on this fabric. But it will be okay. 
And it's um, the other people in the, the round robin are Maggie from Kitchy Wits, Allie from Allie's Use Crafty, and Anna from Anna's Books and Stitches. And I just, you know, want to send them something that isn't air riddled. Mm -hmm. And so I just got to, I just need to take a break. Mm -hmm. Pick it up again. But I wasn't going to not show up because I spent hours on it, even though I only got nine plus stitches. But I spent hours on it. And those are my whips. Yay. Yay. All right. What's Next that? section, um, Floss Tube University. So I like to joke that I learned how to cross stitch on Floss Tube University by watching Floss Tube episodes. And so we contribute to the learning community now by putting out our tutorials on Thursdays. And our next topic is going to be... Um, uh, the best fabric counts for full coverage talking about like the pluses like the pros oh, and cons right. of like should you do it on 14 16 25 so that's going to be on thursday but then we also like to from the beginning we have mm -hmm. called out and shouted out floss tubers and shared something we learned from them so i'll go first because i know we talked about this already and yeah. so um chris cross -stitch, who we love, and I consider the David Sedaris of Floss Tube. That is a perfect. Right? It's the perfect. accent. It's, it's the, the southern accent. accent. Yeah. For um, sure. But he's such a great story. To, oh, sorry. I yeah. bumped it again. Um, so he shared that there is a tool online that I didn't know about, which is a DMC to DMC conversion. So if you are trying to pull from stash or you find that like you missed something or whatever, you can go in and say like, what is the closest color to 310? And it'll tell you, I think it's 3799. What's the closest color to 23? It'll tell you 24. Cause I like tested some of them. <laughs> I was like, how do you know um, this? <laughs> which 23 and 24 do not look identical because they're both in my Sintra, like my Pina Palace. So I can tell what they look like differently, but they do blend. Like they would, if you, you know, they would make some good substitutes for each other. Mm -hmm. So I'll link in the description, his floss tube, which you should be watching. He's wonderful. Um, but then also I'll link the DMC to DMC conversion website. And then um, this is not really a learning thing, but April, uh, April no, Blushing Peak Stitches. I'm blanking on her name because I wrote the word April, but April is not her name. But Blushing Peak Stitches is starting a, it's not really a sal, it's more like a theme for April where you, it's called All the Kits April, where you stitch all your kits. So I thought it'd be a good excuse. I think that's a cool idea. And my Easter is a kit, so that's cool. And then I was thinking, okay, well, I don't, I've been avoiding restarting my Mail Hill kit. That would be a good thing to force me to restart it, even if I don't keep going. Mm. She's like, she said to participate, all you literally have to do is pull out one kit and stitch on it one time, but that like, you also could start all your kits or touch all, you know, you could do a lot with it. But she, I'll link to her last philosophy where she talks about it. Um, but yeah, and then our giveaway today is going to be related to this All the Kids April. But definitely check out her channel. And um, I have three kits. I have the Milho kit, and then I have that Forest Birds Dimensions kit. And I think I might just try to touch all three because that would be a start. But even if I only put 100 stitches in each one just to touch yeah. each one in April would be kind of fun. So I like that. All the Kids April. And we're not big kit stitchers, mm -hmm. but we both have a we couple. Have the yeah. And I have my Thomas King Kate yeah. as a kit that I is not using anything from the kit except the but, pattern. But she, and she said like sometimes you buy kits that are like partial or whatever. She said that still counts. Like okay. everything counts. Okay. Um, all right. And what who did you have for Floss Tube University? So I don't have specifically something I learned. I was just gonna talk about how fun it was to watch all the the market stuff mm -hmm. that was going on. Like I watched pretty much all of Lindy Stitch's um, market videos. Market videos, and that was a lot of fun. Um, and then afterwards, Sully Stitches um, did um, kind of like a recap, and so did Helen D. And if you haven't watched either of those, go watch those, because the recap, it's like you've watched all the videos about the hype, and then you watch all the videos about what, what went on and what happened, and you feel like you were there, and it was great. Well, and it's so, so <laughs> fun. And I found out this year that like, this year, like I didn't even know marketing was so <laughs> I found out that apparently designers are allowed to like buy tickets one year in anticipation of being able to go in the future. So you don't, I don't know how much it is. So I don't know if it'd be something that would be feasible to do. Mm -hmm. But I was like, okay, well maybe in a couple of years, my design business will be big enough where it might make sense to at least go and see if that would be something good for us. Yeah. Um, 
All right, so what we'll do is under Philosophy of University, we'll link the crisscross stitch and blushing pink stitches, but then I'll do a separate section that's like market recap videos that we liked, and then if there's anybody yeah. we forgot, we'll also Yeah, listen. there were a lot. Um, Kim Stitcher went. So, um, I don't think she's posted a recap video no, yet, but, but I'm Elizabeth, waiting for this. Elizabeth Ann <laughs> Stitch posted a good one. Oh, she did? I haven't oh, watched Liz Matthews to know if she talked about it or yeah. not. Um, I just know there were a lot of floss tubers who got to go as like, a designer helper yeah um and so i'm just patiently waiting to find out yeah. what happened <laughs> and if any fun drama happened that people are not talking about feel free to dm us because Let's know we would love to know we will tell no one you guys don't understand people dm us fun cheap we don't tell anyone <laughs> but you know you need to get it off your chest so just just do it. dm us okay so <laughs> the next okay so what we have left is haul Two sentences on shop news, and then we'll do our giveaways. Okay. All right. What is your haul this week? Okay. So I don't have any physical hauls, so you'll have to see it on the screen. I got two patterns. I got, um, I cannot, Cinderella, it's Cinderella by Madame Chantilly. Oh, I was, I didn't know where it's I was French. going with that. It's Cinderella, but it's French, and okay. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I, is it French or, it might be Italian. She's Italian. Madame Chantilly? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so I, I got this pattern and I'm super excited about it. It looks wonderful. I it's it 300 by something. It's a bat for sure, but there's a lot of negative space. So, um, I'm not worried about it. It's a lot of, all the motifs are usually just like a few colors. So it's going to be easy, like, you know, famous last words, not quick, <laughs> easy. That's true. There's a big, there's difference. a big difference. That's what it looks like when people start talking about yeah. stitching. Um, Consider the lilies, and I just oh. think about like, yeah, people who have stitched it saying like, you know, you just one stitch at a time. Yeah, that's a big one. So this will be my biggest piece um, when I do start it, but I put it off to start Alice. Um, so it will happen. I have plans in my plans. I plan to start that. Yay! Um, and I also use the word plans like this because because like, I don't really do planning. No, no. I'm really bad at it. I will say you're not bad at it. You just you would prefer to stitch what you want to stitch when you want to stitch it. Exactly. Yes. Well put. I enjoy planning, but if I didn't enjoy planning, I wouldn't do it. That's just that I'm good at it for work. Yeah. I'm really good at it. I'm an assistant. I, that's what I do. I plan on You're logistics. Stuff. You're good at logistics. <laughs> but I don't like planning for myself. So um, I got that pattern, and then I got um, Alice and Wonderland's tree, and those were, that was my haul. Cool. I got a little more hold in there. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. People do like to comment on the fact that we have very different habits. We do. Okay, so some of this is not whole. Some, oh, we have stitchy kindness we need to show to. We have oh, stitchy kindness. Let's show that now. Okay. So Erin from uh, Steel City Stitchers uh, has a company called Cat on Creations. You show the box because I opened mine. It's so cute. So she sent us this to check out and try. And... The logo is very cute. So the cool thing about this is like, for me, it's gonna fit into my lifestyle perfectly and I'm very excited about it. And like I said, I, when she came out with it, I had already been like, oh, that's very cool. Yeah. So I just dropped it, but that's okay. So what it is, is the little 10, like kind of like an Altoid 10, but like cuter with the label. And it's a little stitching 10 and it comes with some cute glasses and a needle and like little needle minders that she, I think she makes these. Okay, um, so the only thing about these are you can't, don't take them on a plane. Don't take them on a plane. Don't take them on a plane. But aren't they adorable? And we have some silver metal ones yeah. like that that I love. So. I didn't even know they came in different colors. Look at that. But I didn't know either because I just bought the silver ones at a place where they didn't have any others. So the idea behind the kit is that it's very small. So if you are like out and about, then you can do projects that are like really tiny so sometimes i mean i usually leave the house with like a project bag that's like this size with a project but there are times where like that's not appropriate but i could just stick this in my purse just in case there was free time mm -hmm. and it comes with the pattern and then it comes with these cute little gift tags to finish it on i'm dropping everything but that's okay um so what you do is you like pick out four patterns when you get it and then when you're done with those four you can order from her next release because I think it's all like seasonal cute releases. It seems seasonal because they're adorable little So we got like spring. we picked out four I we, picked out the spring ones. We each picked out four spring ones, but then um like 
if we finished these and we're like, okay, well now it's the fall, we wouldn't want to do spring patterns. We would go and order yeah. the next round. Um, and you wouldn't be ordering like the whole 10, you would just be getting the little patterns for yeah. the next round. But like, I can totally, like there's so many times when like, I don't feel like it's appropriate to have the amount of stitching with me that I want to have with me. But if I just knew this was in my purse in case we got stuck somewhere, <laughs> I would be so happy. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm very, very, very excited to use They're it. They're very cute. So thank you so much. Thank you, Erin. And um, we will link to her Instagram account. And I think she also said her Facebook page, maybe. And it, anyway, we'll link. She sent me the information on like how if you want to get one, you can um, check her out. And we will link that under um, Stitchy Kindness. So thank you so much. That was really sweet. That was really sweet. Yeah. Uh, here is my haul. Some of this is giveaways. The whole bag is in haul. But um, I'm just gonna pull stuff out randomly. Wait, that's that's not even all that's giveaways. Okay, here's my Bestitch Me. So these were my February fabrics of the month. The neutral, I get them in 40 count linen. The neutral was vanilla latte, which I think I already have plans for. Oh, we forgot to talk about plans. Well, that's I don't have plans. Um, we're just gonna skip it this time and the, the color is um we can't elope <laughs> and that it's like a, both a spring orange and a halloween orange so it. like i'll definitely find something for that um so your plans are stitch whatever you want whenever you want yes my plans are um maybe just start some stuff i bought the herbalist sal and the frame was going to come out on march 15th so i'm going to start the frame and then um i bought the deadly aquarium sal but it's not starting yet and I'm just going to try to keep plugging away at these like whip go goals and things. So it's cut because it's not a new month or anything. Next time we talk, it doesn't seem like next time the plans will be more important. Yeah. Um, all right. I also, do you guys know I like most sale silk? So she had, um, one of her colors she had was white and I'm trying not to buy like a lot of random colors right now and just like enjoy the vestige me. Oh, I forgot. Oh, guys. Enjoy the vestige me silks that I have and stuff. But, um, white was up and these were five dollars each so i figured out this is the equivalent this was like 24 dollars with shipping and it's the equivalent of like 22 skeins of white but it's silk and i had had an issue last um christmas where i was trying to stitch something in silk but i didn't like any of my whites and i did luckily i didn't finish the piece so i'm gonna use this as the snow but then also it was nice just to be like okay well i know i have white silk forever forever yeah um or one Mirabellion, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the equivalent of one Mirabellion. Oh, that's, that's funny. I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. Um, I forgot to mention, to show the Bistitch Me silks. So, these were the silks of the month. And this is Sprout, Plankton, Sushi. Oh, that's cute. Mm-hmm. Uh, melon and dioptes. I probably pronounced that wrong, but they're so pretty. And then the two variegated, let's put that back here and pick it up when we're done. The two variegated are, look how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. um, over the hill, which is like a tonal variegation. So like, yeah, I'm definitely, it like goes blue to teal, but it's like very tonal. And then muddy waters, which is like blue and brown. And I love them. At some point I'm gonna need to stop getting the variegated because I don't use them as much for other things, but they're just so pretty and inspiring. And I just like having them. All right, so the next thing was, I posted about this on Instagram, so some people thought it was funny. I've talked about how on my Flowers and Friends by Liz Matthews, I picked a blue that oh, I thought yeah. I had enough of. <laughs> But I'm running out of it and I don't need that much more, but it was like making me not want to work on the piece that much because it's like, I can't do some of it. And I don't, I don't like when you have to play thread chicken, but like with the whole project. <laughs> so I went to Stitchy Box to buy, I thought I just needed Periwinkle from Stitchy Box, but I couldn't remember if I, because I threw away the tags, never do that. And I didn't write down the conversion. It was so dumb. And I bought the silks in like a grab bag, so I don't have a list of like what I had purchased in the past. So I thought it was periwinkle. But then when I went to the website, I couldn't remember, did I remember that from the tag? Or did I remember it from looking through the website before? And when I went to the website this time, I realized, well, 
There's not one color that looks like it might be it. There's four. Now they're all very, very close, but on the website, I could not tell the difference. I do think it is Periwinkle, which is this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it could be any of these. Well, then I wouldn't stress it. I'm not gonna stress it. I'm gonna look at it and like pick. Luckily where the, the thread is gonna go is not like right next to the house. So if it's yeah. a little bit off, it'll be fine. But I did, I was like, fine. I'm just ordering all the colors that it could be. And then I'll put the rest in stash because I'm not gonna get it, find out. Cause you know, you're like you're basing it on a picture on the computer, but like you don't really know, like look at the fabrics and yeah. stuff. So I was like, but I went, I got these and these were all actually this close and all actually could almost be substitutes for that color. I was like, okay, well the pictures were accurate. They just literally are like all that close. And I can see differences in them, but I think any of them will would actually work, but I think it's pairing. I think this one's a little too light, but other than yeah. that, those other three. Like... But it's crazy. So I ended up having to buy four, <laughs> four silks instead of one, but it's fine. I'll, I love stitchy box silk. I love stitchy with it. I just made a mistake of thinking a skein was going to be fine and it wasn't. And it was like, I'm, you know, I was still kind of, early in my like it was like the first thing I ever color converted and I didn't even think about like because I had a brand new scan I didn't think and it didn't say you needed multiple skeins but I don't really know what it was charted for so it's like all um and then with that because I didn't want to just order four silks at that like but there's not like a lot on the stitchy box website that like they don't have a lot of like cute little notions and things to order and I didn't want to order random silk colors but I do like they have these um Thread keeps that I actually really like. I have a couple, I have three of them. And so I just bought three more cause they're like less than $3 each. And when I have a project that only has like four or five colors, I do like just sticking them on here instead of floss drops. Um, and I would never order these by themselves to cook cause it wouldn't be worth paying shipping for. Sure. But I was waiting and waiting cause I was waiting for Stitchy Box to have a sale or do like some kind of grab bag situation or whatever. And finally I was like, I can't wait anymore. The next week they put up all of their silk hank ends on sale and i was like well i'm not placing another order so <laughs> it's fine um all right i don't have much else actually i have a couple patterns and a little bit more fabric so these 20 stitches um their burb box pattern from last year they put the extras up for sale it's called rebirth it's very cute. And since it's a paper pattern, I did not know if, if it would be going up as a PDF later. So I didn't know if I needed to get one of those copies or not. So I was like, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. Uh, because I now know when I don't buy a D's pattern that I want, <laughs> I regret it. And so I just, that will never happen to me again. <laughs> um, and if it's a PDF, you know, it's like, okay, it probably will be available later, but you don't always know. So, oh, okay, I'm not, I'm just, I'll just put it back, put it back later. later. Okay. And then when I bought my shores of Hawk Run Hollow, I also grabbed this Prairie Schooler. Cause I think that got me free shipping. Um, yeah, I ordered them from the Crafting Grimal thing, which is like, now she has an LNS in Maine, but it was a, an Etsy shop before. And I ordered patterns from her before. And so I had a coupon. And then with Etsy, if you order $35, you get free shipping. And so I was like, so it was like this ended up being $7. Um, since I didn't have to pay for the shipping, but I just, I'm trying to get all the old, the old Prairie Schooler Santas. And then the only other thing besides DMC, although we really take buying DMC for granted, <laughs> um, was, uh, one, two, three stitch had some 36 count lakeside linen in morning dove go up. And I really want to get more 36 count in my stash. Cause I really like stitching on 36 count, but I have. Cause I have a club for 40 and like said, linen, it's easier to get in 28 and 32 than 36 or 40. Um, at least I want you to because stitch. They go quicker. I don't know. It's just one, two, three stitch tends to be able, I like they'll go up and they will be like one forty, but there'll be two or three in 28 and 32. Mm -hmm. So when I saw this in 36, I was like, I'll just, let me get some, but it's like, you know, one, two, three stitches, like side linen roulette. I ordered, four things and I got two things. Mm -hmm. So it's just, I just, when I see it, if I, if I don't already have it, or if it was like that maple sugar that I'm using so much, if I saw it go up again, I might buy another piece because I really like it. But um, 
there's other pieces where it's like I have a couple pieces in stash and I haven't used them, so I'm not gonna buy more of it. But if it's color I don't have or account I don't have, then I tend to just like get a couple pieces because I like it and I really do use it. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is haul. And now all we have left are shop news, which the only shop news besides thank you guys so much for the people that purchase patterns. And even if you didn't purchase patterns, but you follow the shop on Etsy, that means a lot because it shows other people like, you know, so I have 16 sales and I have eight reviews, but I have like 79 people that follow the shop. Each of those numbers matter. So thank you so much to the people that bought patterns, to the people that reviewed those patterns. And thank you so much to anybody that just followed the shop. If you're not ready to buy a pattern or if you'll never buy a pattern, but you follow the shop, that is also helpful. So thank you guys so much. Um, the only pattern I put up this week was the Pina Palace pattern because that pattern is big enough that I'm comfortable putting up before the model's done. Bear Lake will not be up until it's done. And then, um, all right, giveaways. Yay. So I didn't pull the winners yet from last week. So here's winner number one. Yay. Yay. And here's winner number two. Oh my gosh. And then also we um, said I would send out whoever wants the witch lamb oh, yeah. And at least two people did enter. So I'll be drawing for that. So here's who won the fabric. Yay. What you need to do is. That's so good that it's found a home though. Yeah. 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 So DM me at Crosses the Globe on Instagram, your address, so I can send it to you. If you do not have Instagram, and that is not a good way to contact you, then um, reply to the comment, or comment on this video that you won last time, and we'll figure out another way to chat. I wish YouTube had the like messages, but it doesn't. And I don't, I'm not checking the email account enough and I don't want to send it, put it to my personal email. So we just need to go through Instagram. So Instagram at cross to the globe is me, or you can Instagram her, DM her at Allison at the moment, especially if like you follow her and don't follow me, but you guys are already connected. Um, when I see your address and I'll mail it out. Every prize that ha every giveaway that has been claimed has been sent out. Yay. So the winners this time are the only people that I have to worry about yet. Now, the giveaway this week. I figured for all the kits, April, it'd be fun to give away a kit. Don't get too excited. So, um, I have this Dimensions kit that it's called um, Flower Mason Jar. It looks like this. There's a couple different versions of similar designs. So, I had opened, I had totally opened it and was like, took it with me and was like ready to start it. And then I couldn't get the pattern to go into markup because I didn't know at the time like enough about markup, but now I could get it in. And I didn't want to do the paper pattern. Now I also could just do it on paper. But this was like one of the first things I was going to stitch. And I got this kit at Goodwill for like $5. So I was like, okay. But now I'm like, you know what? I'm not probably going to start it anytime soon because now I've got other things going. So I figured it'd be fun to give it away. What you'll get is the picture. You'll get the fabric. It came with this 14 count Ada. You can see I, I like literally kitted it up to go and then decide not to start it. You'll get the paper pattern and then you'll get the, um, all of the threads and the palette for this is so pretty and springy. Like, look at that. It's, it's so gorgeous. Spring, yeah. Um, so I don't know if you'll get it in time to start it like at the beginning of all the kids April and you don't even have to be, know you want to start it to enter the giveaway. But um, I thought it would be pretty and it is a good time to give away a kit because yeah. there is something to look forward to. To enter, use the word kit in your comment, K-I-T, kit. Um, don't use the word giveaway. You need to be at least 18 so we can get your address. Um, I will send it to anywhere. Like this is a very inexpensive kit because I bought it secondhand so I'll go ahead and I'll send it anywhere. Um, it may take me a couple weeks to get to the post office to send it out. So it may take a little longer if you're living like very far away from here, but I will send it anywhere. Here being Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, um, oh, you need to subscribe to the channel. And if you could like the video, that would be great too. And, um, you can use the word kit naturally or in a funny way. It doesn't matter to me or just at the end of the thing. Cause the YouTube picker just is like, this is people who use the word kit. Um, is there anything else I need to say about this? I don't think so. I'm like totally blanking. Uh, it looks like 
Pretty oh, it does not come. So the thing says it comes with a needle and a hoop. I'm not going to mail the needle and the hoop. Like if you're already watching this channel, you probably have a needle and a hoop and the amount of money to send that is, isn't really worth it. So you get the pattern and the fabric and the floss and the picture, but not the needle and the hoop. So, all right. And, um, that is actually all. Okay. All right. Thanks so much guys. Bye. Bye.